Hey, it's Dr. Max Poliak, the Associate Staff Veterinarian here at uh, Loggerhead Marine Life Center in Juno Beach, Florida, with a really interesting case to share with you. Chalupa, a juvenile green sea turtle, is a patient of ours that has diffuse uh, weakness in all of her limbs. So we brought in a specialist to give us a hand in diagnosing and treating her. Hi guys, I'm Dr. Christine Seneca, I'm an Associate Veterinary Neurologist with Southeast Veterinary Neurology here in Jupiter, Florida. And so what we did is we performed an EMG, which is called an electromyogram, just to see if there are any um, electrical abnormalities within her muscles, to determine if this was a kind of central nervous system disorder, so brain or spinal cord, uh, versus a more neuromuscular condition. Uh, so what we found was that she had abnormal electrical activity in all the muscles that we tested, suggesting that this is a diffuse kind of neuromuscular process. Um, and so now we're trying to work together to figure out what this uh, what this may be caused by, but it seems less likely that it's a person or the system, but more likely that it's a peripheral problem. That was great, thank you. And one of the really important and exciting things about bringing specialists like Dr. Christine into a, a, our practice is that we can do these kind of diagnostics and we could make uh, a plan to include further steps to improve the health um, of our patients. And in Chalupa's particular case, um, what we're planning to do is uh, some additional biopsies to uh, be sent out to uh, further specialists around the country to get to the bottom of this and, and, and then uh, get our brains together and come up with a refined treatment plan for Chalupa. So we're really happy to be here and help with the Loggerhead Marine Life Center as much as we can and really hope that we can get a definitive diagnosis for Chalupa and she gets better.